My name is Terry Nakajima. You know, I work mainly on the partner development of uh, S this SDN space. SDN, a software-defined networking, is a new concept of uh, next-generation networking. Currently, the, the network is operated in an autonomous way. In an autonomous network, uh, you typically need to deploy and configure before you can carry any actual traffic. And it just works fine when the traffic is uh, homogeneous or the operation policy is simple. The information these days that the network needs to handle uh, became so uh, complex in terms of uh, volume, uh, the species, or the complexity of how the traffic needs to be handled within the network. So it just became too complex for an autonomous network to handle uh, the, such a evolved traffic. In SDN, the network behavior is defined or configured um, through the program. You can deploy your physical network without having a solid policy according to the traffic that the network is going to carry, but you can define how the network behaves after you deploy the physical network. So that's the biggest uh, advantage of the SDN, and uh, it gives you uh, a lot of cost savings uh, because you don't you know, need to be physically ready uh, to accommodate the traffic. You can pay as you grow. The C-level executives will find uh, a benefits from SDN, for example, capex reduction, opex reduction, time to revenue, and even a new business model for the user. The computer world has experienced a major paradigm shift from um, a kind of integrated model to unbundled model. So, uh, and that has brought a whole new world to the computing industry. And it also uh, brought wealth to the user community as well. Uh, and I think the same thing is happening in the network industry with SDN right now. SDN uh, will uh, unbundle the hardware, the OS, and the application and brings openness to networking, uh, which will prevent you from being locked in by a particular vendor. Typically, when you're locked in by a particular vendor, that means you're paying about 30% more than you have to. And SDN architecture will help you save money uh, because you're no, you don't need to be locked in by any specific vendor anymore. So NEC has been uh, deploying commercial systems of SDN OpenFlow for two years already. And our uh, vertical industry of our customers varies from service providers, telcos, finance, government, pharmacy, and so on and so forth. I think uh, the benefit of SDN OpenFlow can be enjoyed in across all the, the uh, vertical industries. I'm sure users will enjoy the benefits of the cost reduction.